What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're in the world of Diablo 4, we got some brand new news for you guys and just a further update on the upcoming dev stream that I hope you guys are all excited for, or at least optimistic. So let's kind of just break down, this isn't gonna be a long video, we're just kind of break everything down. So Adam Fletcher, the community manager for Diablo um, over at Blizzard, tweeted out last night, late last night, um, just kind of like a brief breakdown or a rundown on what they're going to be doing. I mean, we kind of, are, we kind of already knew that it was, you know, a dev stream, but he's kind of walking through the details or like block by block of what's going to happen. So Wednesday, there's two chonky live streams starting at 11 a.m. PDT, which is 2 p.m. my time. Um, so the agenda is in-depth discussions on all the details for season of blood okay like that's cool details like that's awesome i'm pretty sure we already know everything that we need to know but there might be some other stuff that we just don't know so you got to be optimistic for that walk through on an extensive list of changes and improvements coming to diablo 4 okay walk through i wonder if they're just gonna give like just go down the list like here's you know, A, change to the elemental resistances. Uh, B, change to damage buckets. Three, change to classes. Like, if they're just going to list them, that doesn't really make me excited um, without any, like, further detail or really going in depth. I mean, they have these two big changes and whatnot. But I guess on the October 10th, they're going to give a little bit more detail on things. Uh, a huge Q and A, and more. The the and more is probably not a whole lot at all, but the Q and A will be, hopefully, some good questions from us, the community, if they don't disable the comment section and or chat. So uh, the one on the fourth um, seems a little bit more disappointing to me and kind of underwhelming. Um, the the October tenth one is the one I'm more interested in. Is class updates deep dive on damage bucket changes the vulnerable crit and overpower resistance changes a discussion about uniques q a and of course more so when i see class updates guys i get really concerned about class updates because you know we got to go with past predicts the future right so in the past every time they've done a class update or a change it's always been a nerf nothing has been a buff it's always been a nerf and i'm not saying that everything needs to be super buffed in the game but again their track record has been we have good things in the game we have bad things in the game we're gonna nerf the the good things in the game to equal the bad stuff in the game and just leave it as opposed to buffing the the bad stuff and leaving the good stuff the good stuff so whenever there's class updates especially for diablo the devs over at D3 do a really good job at balancing things and making things really, really fun. The devs at D4, I don't think happen. So I think what's going to happen is going to be more of a huge, huge nerf to probably Druid, huge nerf to Rogue, big buff to possibly Barbarian because the Barbarians really suck. Um, probably a little bit more of uh, like damage changes on the Sorcerer and Necromancer. They're probably going to nerf... Um, bone spear again so i don't know i'm whenever i see class updates guys i mean you let me know down in the comments if that you know has any warrant to you but whenever there's class updates for diablo 4 i always feel like it's negative and it's going to be a nerf <sighs> deep dive on damage bucket changes so they already talked about hitting these things now the one that we can get out of the way is kind of overpowered this is probably going to be a buff Overpower really just has has been like underwhelming is the best word to put it. It really just doesn't do everything that we need it to do. It, it's not as strong as it should be. Let me let me say it that way. Overpower is very cool, especially for the Druid and some other builds, but it just doesn't have the damage buckets or it doesn't do enough damage as some of the other things. So there's no reason to have overpower. So hopefully they they just give that a buff. Now vulnerability and crit, they have already nerfed this once. I'm sure they're going to nerf it again. Uh, so again, whenever we see damage bucket changes, I always assume it's a nerf because again, they're not going to buff bad stuff. They're going to nerf good stuff. Resistance changes. This is a, um, a mechanic is sorry guys for my nose here. I've been stuffy all weekend. 
Uh, resistance changes. This is a mechanic that should have been put, put in the game from the start. But again, we're getting an update to fix the game. So hopefully they, they, they at least get this right. Because this is going to make other classes like Rogue, Sorcerer, um, Necromancer incredibly strong. And then a discussion about Uniques. So I guess the big thing that they're going to talk about maybe for Uniques is how they're gonna how it's gonna go about farming the new bosses and how to get a certain unique that you need like tempest roar for example because you know i found many tempest roars in my playthroughs and a lot of my community members and people who have watched or like checked out my videos they really struggle to find it but then on the other side like it took me you know over 150 hours to find remnants of the infinite for my sorcerer but then on my second playthrough of a sorcerer i found it early i found it at 70. so i think they're going to talk about ways to really find those kind of uniques and i don't think there's going to be many changes to uber uniques i don't think there's going to be many changes to that at all i think they're pretty proud about you know how few of them have been actually found and i think they're going to keep it that way i don't think they're going to really buff the drop rate of ubers but we'll see maybe maybe they'll surprise us and then, of course, Q&A, hopefully that's good. And then, of course, much more. Now, another reason I want to bring this is because the comment section I read last night is actually really hysterical. And it just shows you the state of the game and where just in general the community is. So I just want to highlight some things. I don't want to go through a lot of it, but I just want to highlight some things. So, my guy, we need endgame stuff or we need endgame or this stuff doesn't matter. We'll talk about it on the 4th. That's what they said. We'll talk about the end game on the fourth. Adam Fletcher re responds. Excited. How long will it be? 120. Some people say they're ready. No offense, but nobody cares. Can't wait. Any plans on telling us um, stuff to be passed over? Um, hopefully more power comes back to the gamers. Um, will there be bagels and stuff? No offense. Diablo is a good core game. I generally hope you guys knock it out of the park. Not a lack of faith, etc. So it's... It's more or less just, you have a very few people that are excited. You have more people that are just like kind of angry and upset, like you guys need to fix this. And then there's like the angry but optimistic, which is the bucket that I'm in. Like I'm just so mad and disappointed that the state of Diablo 4 is what it is, but I'm optimistic and hopeful that they really just turn it around. Because to lose 99% of your player base into just like a feeding frenzy of other games like, it really sucks, and they really need to have some drastic changes. So I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow, guys, we get a really good dev stream. Again, guys, it's at 11 a.m. PDT. Make sure you go check that out. 2 p.m. EST if you're on the East Coast. Um, and I will be watching this and checking this out, and we're going to kind of give all of our thoughts and notes on this and the biggest takeaways, so make sure to check that out. We're going to be live over on twitch.com backslash warlug. Um, as well as having a brand new video for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this whole agenda walkthrough and just kind of what you're hopeful for in this campfire or dev stream discussion. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.